Hey, it's Scott with NTNS, and today we're going to talk about the third treehouse at Treehouse Utopia, the Bibliotheque, and it's all about the steel substructure. So the steel substructure for this treehouse is really cool. It's 17 feet off the ground. There's about 36 pieces that went into building it. It weighs 5,500 pounds, and it's going to hold up a 400 square foot treehouse. Well, the hexagon treehouse platform is a tried and true design. Uh, it's been done over and over again, and for good reason, it's so good. It was kind of fun to go through the, the structural elements and the aesthetic elements and kind of blend them together. So we've got not only a decorative shape, but it's also reinforcing the strength of the steel at the same time. This treehouse is a little unique because where it is in Texas, it floods often. So one of the goals was to not only make it structurally substantial, but also to raise it above the floodplain so that the treehouse was supported completely from the tree and high up in the tree. One of the challenges for tree houses that are so big is that we are fabricating them here in Fall City and shipping them to Texas. So although we have this gigantic platform, we need to break it down into pieces and put it in the truck. So this is broken down into 36 pieces, which are kind of separated down here below, and each one gets broken out into a detail for the fabricators. After breaking them all down into pieces, we kind of just needed to come up with a way to communicate to each other what's what. So we just coined names for them. We've got the ring beams, the ring around the tree. We've got the rim beams yeah. going around the rim. We've got the spokes on the wheel, the spoke beams, and the little fancy beams in between. So each one had its own name. But it's got this beautiful kind of lotus flower blooming shape that just seemed to be natural coming up out of the stem of the tree and blossoming into this beautiful flower. I'm so excited to see this done and in the trees because 17 feet off the ground, when you walk up to this tree house, you're gonna be looking straight up and this is gonna be pretty much all you see from the ground. So we wanted it to be beautiful, simple, elegant, unique, and I think it's really gonna be clean. That steel allows you to make, keep it kind of compact and clean and it's, I think it's gonna be great. This was a really, really fun project to be a part of the design team for and I just, I'm so excited to be watching the progress on Instagram at the Treehouse Utopia thing. The guys are down there right now. We filmed the whole thing start to finish, so check it out. All right, we started off with a banner morning. We put our ring beam up, which is a six-sided, a hexagon, if you will, ring that wraps around our single tree bibliotech platform. All was going well until a debacle arose. Here we are, we've had a little delay. We're gonna take the ring off the tree. We put a ring on the tree yesterday, and today we're gonna take the ring off the tree. We're gonna take it to a machine shop. We've got this steel frame that goes up and it's it's all engineered to fit perfectly, but the uh, problem here is that the tab doesn't want to go in the hole. I think we're going to borrow an elephant, <laughs> and we're going to make a stool for it to stand on all fours and pound that thing through. Oh, and then, and then we can once use it's in, the leverage yeah, we to can turn, just it, turn in. it in with the steel. That'll be. It's a actually first. easier. We need less tools. I mean, we need an elephant, but. For our ring beam, we have three primary limbs that the tabs, the tree bolts, attach to of those six sides. We've on the fly had to find the help of a machine shop, put it on a milling machine and bore out about 330 seconds of that hole so we can get them on. And so hopefully first thing tomorrow morning, we will be close to having 30 pieces of steel up. Our foundation will be well on its way. And there you have it.
right now what we have up is half of the steel framing with four of the struts that hold it up. Unlike wood, metal is needs to be a lot more precise. Our tolerance for error is a lot smaller than if we have wood where you can adjust it a little bit easier. So in this case, we actually hang the metal from the tree fully suspended and we'll find our tab holes and go from there. The center ring was hung first with three tabs and then we work out from there. So after the tabs, we have what we're calling the spokes, which stick out from each corner. And then between the spokes, these metal triangles as braces to keep it from racking and changing shape. And then on the outside of that, we have a beam to create the outer ring or the big ring. Attached to those, we'll have struts that go down and act as knee braces, and they'll go down to the bottom of the tree and hold up the entire structure. This structure it entirely is static. It's not supposed to move, it won't move, it's a single tree, it doesn't have to move, it'll stay with the tree. I don't think that tree is gonna move anyway. It's a pretty solid tree. <laughs> Today we were able to finish up the framing or exoskeleton of our bibliotech. Look at this thing. It's, it's amazing. It's crazy. It's just, it blows, every time blows my mind. We built it with, using nine heavy limb tabs. We have three on the top part holding on that center ring and then the bottom of each strut or knee brace is a tab making six for the, all the points of our hexagon. This baby ain't going nowhere. Other than the fact that our tab holes were about 330 seconds off, this went up flawlessly. This was probably one of the most or the least problematic metal frames that we've put up yet. It was awesome. And uh, we're at the point now where today our goal will be to roll out joists and hopefully get a subfloor down so then we can start laying some walls. As far as working goes on this kind of stuff and hanging the metal, I mean it's almost like not going to work. It's hard calling it work. I got to hang from a rope all day for two days now, and it's just like being a kid or a monkey in a tree. You get to hang from rope, play with metal, design stuff, build a tree house or a tree fort. I mean, I don't know, it's hard to call that work, I guess. It's just, it's fun. But at the same time, I guess it is work. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Does a mustache make this weirder or better? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you next year. Something. Closing statement. I'm out. <laughs>